Let's move finally to the Holy Broadcast Center, because I'm almost level 8, so that means we're pretty much leveled to what we need to be to kill those enemies over here. And let's just drive in with Wild Abandon. I thought that was going to move, but it didn't. It really, really didn't. There we go. Oh, and it's actually a move. Ooh, we're going to go to another area. Ascension Bluff. So, Ascension Bluff. The, um, the loading screen is already cool, and we can see that building over there. That is... That looks really, really awesome. I feel the scope of the levels is a little bigger. Which, of course, makes sense for a sequel, but still, it's something to uh, note. Another one of those awesome just money chests. I do like the design of those. So I'm going to see if I can use the sniper rifle to my advantage here. Uh, since the level seems to be a bit bigger than... Uh, well, at least the first part is going to be big. Look at that zoom. It is awesome. Still only 84% accuracy, by the way. So that's going to be a problem. But uh, at least we can shoot from quite a far away. So let's check this out. Let's respawn the vehicle. And get out of here. The Holy Broadcast Center to get the fault map. This seems like a, a radio tower over here. Is this the Holy Broadcast Center? Now, obviously, the Holy Broadcast Center is the shining beacon at the top of the map. But doesn't that mean that we need to do something along the way? Hey, sugar. Moxie here. And I've got a job for you. Those Calypso twins live for attention, right? So I say we take it away by turning their own broadcast towers against them. Oh. Okay. Do you mean that we need to do something with that broadcast tower? Now that we're here anyway. There we go, killed that one and we end up right next to the broadcast center, so let's take a look. I have a shotgun equipped, I grip this fancy thing now. Oh, gold. Oh, what the hell just... Okay, that was, that was something, sorry I was distracted by the TDR effect. And there she goes, on the floor, and now I can just... What the hell just happens when I... It just becomes a big target? There she goes, out of the sky. Out of the sky. That's a cool little effect, it kind of distracts them, I suppose. Because there's a large sign, sign would shoot me on top of it. Um... I don't know what the broadcast is doing. I can hear somebody humming. Let's turn that off. We need to climb all the way up, I suppose. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So all the way up, we get this sabotage. Plenty of time around bandits, and trust me, you don't want to hear anything they have to say. Thanks for turning them off and me on. Okay, Gl glad we could help, Moxie. Hope to see you soon. And the flash. <laughs> Ah, with that done, we get another weapons chest as well. Which might always be nice loot. It is not, it's just white crap. And I don't mean that in any racist capacity whatsoever. So let's head down right on top of our vehicle. Wow, we have a lot of control in the... Oh no, didn't mean to do that. So that's the broadcast center. Seems like it's uh, pretty fancy. But the road there is pretty straightforward. So let's just boost our way up to the top. And of course the gate is closed, but we can go in on foot. Check out our play of the, day. the path of sacrifice. Welcome to the Holy Broadcast Center. Our daily live stream will be starting shortly with a special guest. Give your offerings now so you can join our elite Iridium tier chat for behind the scenes murder and mayhem. And now, the moment you've been waiting Sister, Tyrene Calypso! 
for a sec. You've all accepted me, even though I wasn't born a bandit. My first words weren't blood feud or ribcage spelunker. But now we're all family, and family is forever. We'll start the ceremony after a few quick shoutouts. Stay bloodthirsty! That wasn't so hard now, was it? So that was our first, um, well, mention of the Calypso twins. At least her. Um, the sniper rifle sucks, by the way, so I'm gonna swap that out in a second. Tyreen, that's her name. And there we go, we leveled up, which means that I can spend my skill point at that awesome skill to get a grenade out of the Sentinel drones as well. There we go. Uh, I'm also going to swap out the sniper rifle back to... You know what? Let's try this. No, the accuracy is crap on that as well. That is horrible. That's why I'm shooting next to everything. He says to himself. Well, it's probably not the case, but... There we go. Moving forward. Holy crap. Here's a grenade. Ooh. I'm sorry about that, but Ooh. Whoop. Hello, psycho. There we go. Stab him in the face. There we go. I think I hit him right in the face with that. Here, shoot this. Boom. Oh god. Don't know what that was. Let's distract him with the, the TD or thing. Okay. And then climb up here like a normal human being. I'm gonna have to kill this thing. Oh, there goes my shield. Just gonna send that back. Ooh, there goes the shield again. And I threw that into a wall, didn't I? Let's pop up the extra shield. There's still somebody behind me. Hello, buddy. Ooh, he just... Yeah, you shouldn't have stepped in that. I don't follow Tyreen's dialogue all that much, because I basically can't hear her all that well. The more perforator consumes three ammo per shot. It looks really cool, but it's basically useless for my end, because I feel like if that breaks after using it for a while, then it might not be that useful. Unless it's really, really powerful, I might give it a try. But otherwise, let's just stick to our guns, literally. Okay, so Tyreen, we're getting close to Tyreen because she swapped over from being on the broadcast to actually right, being here. Alright, time to welcome here. the Sun Smashers into our family. We'll post the vid later along with some new Let's Plays. Signing off for now, don't forget to like, follow, and obey. So basically the Calypso Twins are live streamers. Slay of the day? Oh my god, I want to see that. Look at this guy. Oh. Oh. He fell into a pile of poop. That's potty humor for you. The health pack deadly defense shield. 15% chance to reflect projectiles while shielded, while full shot strain 30% shields for 20% weapon damage. And when damaged, has a 20% chance to drop a health charge. Okay, that sounds great. I'm gonna go for that. That sounds amazing. So let's buy that. And then I'm gonna equip that immediately. Oh, there we go. Yeah, no, there we go. Okay, the menu's freaking out a bit. There we go. That's purple. Can I do purple in every slot now? I think I can, right? There we go. Purple in every slot. Is that a, a trophy? Or does it need to be every slot because I haven't unlocked everything yet? Because I didn't get a trophy for that. Oh, then... There it goes. It actually screams ow, ow, ow. Probably the more ammo is in there, the longer it will bounce around, distracting everybody. But that's interesting. 
What's what did this say? Witnessed. Okay. Interesting. I don't know why, but my gun is glowing for some reason. Ow! Oh. Did he just explode? Using the speakers. Hello. He's screaming in my ears. There we go. More ammo. More ammo. Because I'm running out of shotgun ammo. Oh, what? Oh, is that because I was amplified? Oh, yeah. It's the amplify from the ship. Oh, hi. There you go. Ooh. Oh, and that's the health charge. And I got a trophy, stick it to them. Probably kill multiple enemies with a stock grenade. He just, what the hell just happened there? That's a badass fanatic. There you go. More grenades for you, buddy. Now he has to use the drone. Because I'm getting uh, damaged quite a bit there. Ooh, what's, where, where's all those grenades coming from? This guy has a grenade launcher. Distract them. Boom! There he goes, and that's another gun. What's this? The more rapture berserker. It actually looks pretty cool. But again, it's gonna break. Hey, hi! There we go. You know, we can throw it now. It's always fun to watch that go around. Did it just say thank you as well? Ah, oh, this game is bonkers. The weapons in this game are ridiculous. I mean, you had the talking guns in Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel a bit. But this just brings it to a whole new level, doesn't it? I do need ammo. I think I'm going to go back to the SMG for a bit, because uh, it's going to suck otherwise. Okay. But that gives me a health charge, which is nice. Thanks for that. Thanks for that, mouthpiece. He's a real buddy. He's, he, he kind of fakes that he's a badass bandit because Vida keeps helping me there. Give me a bit of health. The pretty, the pretty boy, thank you. Ooh, she just took that all in the face, didn't she? Ooh, I, 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 oh. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, that's a turret. That's the third. That's the third. I'm gonna die. The health charge is really handy, by the way. There we go. The of that, that, those health charges that drop from the the shield are really handy. Of course, I have the problem that I'm never gonna be full full shields because every time I shoot, I actually drain the shield when it's full. <laughs> Which is something to keep in mind, but not something that will be too much of a problem, I suppose. But I do feel that the enemies in general have a lot more health. What is she doing? It's a giant laser on the weapon. There we go. I think I got another health charge. Oh, yeah, but I'm full health, so let's distract him with that. Doesn't seem to distract him that much. Okay. So that was cryo damage. It does slow me down. So that's also something to keep in mind. So cryo definitely slows you down as it did in the pre-sequels. Aside from also allowing you to fro freeze enemies solid. I'm just going to go in and out here. Because that's going to blow up again. Yeah, there we go. Boom. It blows up those iridium statues. Don't really know what those are caused by again anymore as well. That looks so nice. Those stained glass thingies. That looks... Ow! Goodbye. I love how they do a little backflip. Just shut up. You're dead. Ooh. Ooh. More children of the vault weapons. Which actually... Those actually sell for quite a bit. I do love the pun. The life screaming pun, because it's swapping between streaming and screaming. It's subtle, but ooh, that's definitely not subtle. I do take that back. This is definitely not subtle. But shotgun equipped, going down probably for a boss fight against mouthpiece. Here we go. Hello. 
Extras are loading in. There he is. Okay. Mouthpiece. Sonic Doom. Okay. Gonna have to go with my drone here. There we go. Okay, so the walls are actually damaging us, probably. Where is he? There he is. Oh, that's behind me, isn't it? Yeah, that was his behind me. Ow, ow, ow. I'm gonna die. Just kill me. There we go. That got me a second wind. That's over there, so that's fine. Just gonna grab all the health and distract him with the shotgun while I'm going. Oh, I love this arena. This is a cool boss fight. That's all of them? That's all the sides. Okay. Ooh, that was behind me. That's not good. There's more health over here. Probably shoot. Woo! What about the SMG? Let's keep firing away at him. Ow. I'm getting hit. Yep, there we go. And then send a the drone out again. Ow, that was behind me. I got a second win immediately. Just healing up while we can. Oh, there was behind me as well. That's gonna hurt. There we go. The music in this arena. There he goes. Yeah, so many things he never felt. So there's a lot of stuff in here. But this, the killing word. His word will carry eternal, death eternal. Hmm. Actually not that bad, but... You know what? Let's try it out. I feel like I should at least try out the Children of the Vault weapon. Uh, let's take this, the Vault map. Nothing to it. Did you come all this way for that busted ass map, or are you just here to see me? Didn't know you were such a super fan. Oh, you missed the show? Oh, right. Bet you're all like, what's up with those husks? Well, it's a thing I do. Check out the screens. Okay, so that's her power. So I offered the Sun Smashers a place in our family. They just wanted guns and cash. They betrayed the family. Oh, then Troy said something great. Gods don't negotiate. Gods don't negotiate. I love it. Love it. Like I said, that map is super busted, so go ahead and take it. I'll swing by later to pick it up. You're my most loyal follower, Vault Thief. You just don't know it yet. Okay. Bye, Tyreen. So that's her doing that. So does that mean she's also a siren? I knew you'd find the map killer. Bring it back, and don't let it out of your sight. I lost it once. I won't lose it again. Uh, I won't either. Longbow grenades teleport to their location. Ooh. I mean, I like the bouncy grenades. I'm gonna keep the bouncy grenades for now. I'm just gonna grab those just to sell. The bouncy grenades are cool. Aha, there we go. In the control room, there's a mouthpiece's pitch part three. I think we missed the previous two parts. Here we go. Once we receive the map, our followers will escort you to the welcome ceremony. In preparation for our arrival, purge your clan of any free thinkers before entry. The Great Vault beckons. Okay, so that was a gun with tracker bullets, by the way. So a gun with tracker bullets, kind of like the first, uh, the bullseye from Resistance. If you remember that game about shooting aliens in the face. Uh, you shoot a tracker and then everything, every other bullet you shoot after that homes in on that tracker. Which is really, really cool. 
So what's this? What's this? Holy. So that must have been... Yeah, that was the the thing that Madbeast was on probably before the boss fight started. Because we dropped in over there. Wow, this thing zooms in like a like it's nothing. There's apparently something behind here as well, but... That's also nothing. And more of those Iridium drained suckers. She really likes doing that because there's a lot of them screwing around. There we go. More, more collectibles for us. Just gonna free this motherfucker. There we go. That poor bastard out of his misery. And otherwise, yeah, this just seems like more money, doesn't it? No fancy weapon chest maybe out here? There's actually two quests here. Oh. What is this supposed to be? So, there's this thing. Which I've seen that in um, our command center as well. The Crimson Raider command center. A little COV statue. Help Vaughn stick it to the COV and replace these ugly things with something a little more glorious. Vaughn, boyo. Know anything about these little COV statues? Ugh, the children of the vault have been leaving these suck butt COV statues all over the place. You know what? We're going to stick it to those wannabe gods and make our own idols. In my image, yeah, good idea. From chiseled jaw to legendary calves. First off, go find all my wanted posters. P.S. I am very wanted. We're gonna pull this off. We're gonna need those pictures of me to feed into the 3D scanner thing. Then we can start printing out the statues that look like me instead. <laughs> That'll really tick off the Calypsos. Okay. So. I didn't go from a Hyperion accountant to Bandit War Chief just to follow orders again. But. You know, after I refused to join that stupid cult, Tyrene Calypso put a bounty on my sculpted ass. And the rest of me, too. But I'm still alive, baby! And I'm still shaking it, bro! Okay, Vaughn, please shut... He talks a lot, doesn't he? Kind of reminds me of me. I bet. What's this? That looks... Horrifying. What the hell, dude? This is not good. That was not what I wanted to do. Um, use head case. It's a head in a jar. Probably not the weirdest thing you've seen today. It kind of is. You got any friends missing a head, Vaughn? Might have found something. Ah, no way! That's my deputy war chief, Vic. <laughs> She's my best brunette. Grab that head. Okay. They must have been interrogating her in VR. You know, we used that same tech back in Hyperion when we caught a corporate spy. Or when someone's broccoli salad got stolen from the break room and I didn't have time to make more. Anyway, Vic's trapped in a virtual torture chamber. You gotta go in and get her out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sold. Jack me in. Load me up. I'm going in that head. There should be a VR console by the gate to the HBC. Just hook her head up and your echo device will digistruct you right into the VR construct. I'd go in there myself, but uh, VR stuff totally squicks me out. <laughs> No one's gonna take my body apart molecule by molecule without a fight. I'm an analog man! I gotta say, I'm surprised the COV are using VR tech, but, you know, then again, it's pretty cheap these days. I mean, people make entire worlds in there and just live in them. It's weird, though, you know? Most people just revisit worlds that were made, like, seven years ago. Wait, was that... Was that a joke at your own game? Revisit worlds made seven years ago? Is Borderlands 2 seven years ago? Oh, what the hell was that? What? Oh, that is literally his gun. It is the dubstep gun. That was awesome. That is awesome. It literally is a dubstep gun. So, I need the head case. The head case is probably at the entrance of this place. But, I'm gonna have to see if I can do this within the same recording session, which is probably not the case. But this gun is awesome. But it does heat up. And there's a number right next to it, so I don't know what that's supposed to be. Because I thought the magazine size was unlimited. Oh, the magazine size is unlimited, but my ammo count isn't, of course. But it's a cool gun. It's a really cool gun. And there's a claptrap thing over here. Don't know what that's supposed to be. Is that... Gonna 
show up. So there we go, we can find claptrap parts on the map as well. That's interesting. Next time on Borderlands 3, we go in VR. There we go.